Good morning. Good morning. Well, welcome to the First Baptist Church of Washington Hills to our morning worship service. And we're glad that you made it a point to be with us today, whether you're here or in a present or you in a virtual uh, land. Today is Palm Sunday, which brought Jesus' trial and entrance into Jerusalem. It is also the beginning of Holy Week. Hosanna to the Son of God, blesses he that cometh. In the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, Matthew 21 and 9. At this time, we're going to open our worship service with Just Over in the Glory Man. It's found on page 444 in the hymn books, and it uh we are posted on the screen. As you please stand and let us your voices as we sing praise to God.
that deep and down, this will be up on the call with the devotion of scripture, and I'll come back with the devotion of prayer. Amen.
Now help us out so we know that you got love. Just like you said, you would with all power in your hand. Yes, yes. We thank you, Father, that you sitting on the right hand of the Father and in a sin for us. Now, Lord, we call upon your holy name. Realize, Father, that we all have sinned that come short of our goal. So right now, Lord, we ask that you forgive us of all our wrongdoings. Forgive us of all our wrong saying. Cast them in some sea of forgiveness where they won't rise up against us again and neither condemn us at judgment time. You know, we have the mouth to give us a clean heart. We do when it's the right mind. Give us a better understanding how we can sue and serve thee. Oh, heaven and mouth, so we realize we're on the teacher's journey. And we, we cannot make it by ourselves. We need you, Lord, each and every day. We need you every step of the way. We can't make it without you, Lord, so we just lean in and depend on you. Look to you from which comes our help. All our help come from you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you have brought us from a mighty, mighty long way. You opened doors for us, made ways out of no ways. Kept us when danger was all around us, Lord. Thank you for being a loving arm of protection around us. Now, Lord, we realize that this world is not our home. We just pass and do these old unfriendly shows. One day, when the warfare is all over, when, when we is through, God, here and there, this world can't afford us a home. We must move on like so many have already done. We must quit this old busy walk of life when we have said our last goodbye. Go on in the room and can't come out no more. I'm not worried because when I lay down on this side, I'll rise on the other side. I'll be with you forevermore somewhere, somewhere in your kingdom. For our weary soul of resting place, we're concerned they were the tongue that would never get tired. Over yonder where every day we'll be sunny. There'll be no more goodbyes. Over yonder where we'll have to give up right for the wrong. We just praise you with a tongue that would never get tired. Somewhere else. We're not choosing, Lord, just somewhere else in thy kingdom. Upon our very soul of resting place where we can serve thee forevermore and through our ceaseless ages. This is our prayer we ask you to the dollar name of Jesus. I'm going to talk to and sing praises to God.
they cry, Hosanna. Hosanna. Come to the King of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We thank God, amen, for you that are here today. Amen to our brother and nephew, brother Adrian, who's with us this morning. That's his wife and son. Amen. It says, for whosoever is born of God mm -hmm. overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. All right. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. Who is he that overcomes the world but he that believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Amen. 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 I want you to capture That's all. those two verses. Amen. But then most importantly, I want you, amen, to look at that fourth verse where it says, For whosoever is born of God overcomes the world. Mm -hmm. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Amen. Talking about the power of overcoming faith. Yes, sir. The power of overcoming faith. My brothers and sisters, overcoming faith is 
very unique in so many ways. Because without faith, the believer knows it's impossible to please God. Amen. So the believer that walks by faith and not by sight has overcoming faith. Listen to me very carefully. Please understand me. Don't leave here without this understanding. It is impossible for you to please God unless you exercise or activate your faith. Amen. Amen. It's not about how much you give. It is not how much you do. Amen. It is about your belief and your faith and trust in God. In everything you do. You had enough faith this morning, amen, to get in your car and crank it up, amen, and drive down the dangerous road to come here today. Amen. You have enough faith, amen, in the pews that you're sitting on this morning, amen, to hold you when you sit down. All right, then. Amen, amen. So it is impossible for us to please God, and God wants to be pleased by everything that we do, but most importantly, he wants us to trust and believe in him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The winds yes, sir. may blow, amen, and the storm may rise in your life, but he wants you to trust and believe in him. Every one of us been through some things. Amen. If you live long enough, you're going to go through yes, something. Sir. Yes, sir. Amen, somebody. Yes, but we have to believe and trust in God. Yes, sir. Overcoming faith has the power, amen, to raise your world life most common problems that affect us. Problems like anxieties, depression, uncontrolled temper, irrational fears, then lastly, it has the power to move us from manic depression if we trust in God. Amen. And all of these things have, have an effect on the believer in some kind of uh -huh. Ever wonder why a person walks around mad all the time? Yeah. Every time you say something to them, they have something negative to say back to you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And then they have the audacity to say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. But they walk around mad all the day. All right, all right. Amen. Do you realize that God has blessed us every morning with 24 hours? Go ahead, brother. And what you do with that 24 hours makes a difference in your life. Yes, sir. You can lay in the bed all day long in 24 hours and not accomplish one thing. Amen. But he gives us 24 hours every day. The Bible says he gives us new mercy yes, every day. Yes, mercy suits our case. Amen, somebody. We have overcoming power. All right, all right. Amen. To utilize our faith. Please stay with me because the Spirit of God today is going to uncover why the overcoming faith is so unique. First of all, all believers have already obtained this gift. Every believer has obtained this gift. Measure of faith have been given to all of us. All right. But many are not aware of it. And the reason they are not aware of it, amen, of this gift is because when problems come and go, they contribute it not to their faith. Yes. Listen, when problems come and go, they don't contribute it to our faith. Amen. They say, well, I pray, and they go away. You can pray, but you've got to have faith in God to move the mountain out of the way. That's why this, this is why there's a little cliche that says, yeah. if you're going to play, pray, don't worry. Uh -huh. If you're going to worry, don't, 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 don't pray. pray. Yeah. Right. Amen, somebody. Amen. A lot of people pray, amen, and have no substance within their prayers because they don't believe God can do answer their prayers. Yeah. And they just pray. Yeah. But you've got to attach some faith and belief in your prayers when you pray to God. Yeah. He that comes to God must believe that he is a reward of him that diligently seek him. Amen. you got to believe that who you pray to yes, has the power, amen, to move whatever you're praying or asking him for, bring to pass. Amen. 
But what we do, we contribute it. Things come and go in our lives. Mm -hmm. And we don't contribute that to our faith. We don't contribute that to God moving those things out of the way. We say, sometimes we say a cold come, or when we have the flu, amen, it comes, amen, it sticks with us for a little while. We take medicine after medicine, amen, and then we go to the doctor, he gives us some antibiotics to get it out of our system, and then it just clearly go away. Mm -hmm. Do you know there's so many folks around the world die because of the flu? Yeah. Amen. Die, they actually die because of the flu. Amen, somebody. Amen. But we come and it goes and we don't contribute when it comes and goes to the Lord. Amen. amen. That the Lord brought me through, amen, this flu season. I could have been dead, amen, but he, he, he wrapped his loving arms around me and brought me through. Amen. According, to, according to verse 1, all believers qualify for this gift. John said, whosoever, that includes everybody. All right, all right. Don't care what color you are. All right. Come everybody. Everybody. In, in seminary school, amen, we, uh, the professor was dealing with whosoever. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we had, you always have that student in your class who, who's above average. He always have those questions that you want to ask. Yeah. All right. He said, if, if it's whosoever, then... Amen. That who can be born again? He said, whosoever. He said, but whosoever can be born again, then who can be born again? And the, and the book of said, whosoever. He said about three or four times, whosoever. He, and what, the, what the student was trying to recognize, trying to get the teacher to tell him who's included in the whosoever. Whosoever include everybody who will believe in Jesus Christ. All right, all right. Don't matter who you are. What your background is. Right, Whosoever believes that Jesus Christ is what? Born yes. of God. Amen. That's transitional. <clears throat> Amen. That means that means you be you've been born from you've been you've been your your whole life have been done away with. Yeah. Amen. And you have been regenerated and given a new life Amen. in Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Old things have passed away. Amen. And you have come, become new. Right. And watch out now. Because there's still some old things hanging around some folks today. Right. Amen, somebody. Right. Amen. They, they refuse to let it go and give it to God. Right. Amen. Amen, somebody. Right. And God is saying, just let it go and let me have it and I'll take it from you, but you hold it on to it. Whosoever will, amen, amen, is born of God, amen. amen, amen. Look what he said. He said, for everyone that loves him, that begot love of him, also that begotten of him. Kind of tongue twisted, kind of confusing, but he, but he actually said everyone that loves God, amen. right? Yeah, yeah. That begotten love him, love Jesus, because he is the begotten one, yeah, yeah. amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, yes. begotten him, yes. shall believe in him, shall not perish, but have every... Yes. He is the begotten one. Yes. You love God, yes. you got to love Christ Jesus as well. Yes. You can't love one without the other. Yes. Don't be confused, just because there's a lot of false teaching out there, amen, that try to get you to understand. Try to get you to believe that Christ Jesus do not exist. Amen. That God Himself then wrapped Himself in flesh and walked among men. Amen. But God Himself, the Word of God, the Lugos, took on flesh and walked among men. Amen. He was there in the beginning. For the Bible says, in the beginning was the Word, uh -huh. and the Word was with God. Notice what it said, and the Word was God. Amen. Amen. So the, there's a lot of Somebody that try to get you to believe not in God. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. He simply said that everyone that have put their trust and believe in Jesus Christ have received this new birth. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm trusting because most of the time that many of us who come to worship with us on Sunday morning, I believe in my heart that you have received a new birth. All right, all right. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 
all of us haven't been down the same road. Yeah. Amen. And all of the challenges that you and I have challenged, have challenged is different. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. But if we all have accepted Jesus Christ as our Savior, amen, we have received a new birth. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone that loved the Father also loved Jesus, the begotten one. Which means, as believers, we love everybody else. For we should love one another. Yeah, yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. This, is, this is what Reverend Maurice Lester said. Amen. Love thy neighbor as you love thyself. How can you say you love, you, you, you love God, whom you have not seen, but hate your brother whom you see every day? Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. We talk about, we talk about the person we have not seen. Amen. We put down people who we don't even know. Yeah. Yet they are God's creation. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. He ain't say have a party with them. He ain't say join yourself with them. He said you got to love them just as he loves you. Amen. Does that make any sense to you? Yeah. Now, believe it or not, that particular scripture is good news to all of us. It's good news because everyone that has been born of God has the power to have overcoming faith. Yeah, yeah, okay. That overcoming faith has the power to defeat all opposition, including temptation that comes against you. The enemy is always trying to tempt you in many things. Amen, somebody. Amen. Some things that happen, we don't look at it as. As, as the enemy tempting us. Yeah. But see, we are we are tempted by our own, we're drawn away with our own desires. All right. The desires, the inward desires that we have. And the enemy is aware of those inward desires that we have. Yeah. He can't tempt you with nothing that you don't desire. Yeah. Or yeah. like. Yeah. Amen. 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 So what he does, he set up camp and watches you all, right. all the time. Yeah. Yeah. To see what you're staring at, what you're looking at. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Come on, and if you're looking at it more and more and more every day, then he knows that you're very interested in that particular thing that you're watching every day. And do what he does, he brings, he, he brings that to you in front of you, and he, he parades that in front of you so that you can be tempted of it. Temptation of itself is not a sin. It's when you yield to temptation, that becomes a sin. Yes, Amen. Amen, somebody. So he, 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 he yields the temptation to you. He, he fronts it in front of you. Amen. You see it every time. Amen. Amen. Even, even in shopping. Many times in shopping, and, and they do it in, in the Christmas season as well. Yes. They advertise all kinds of toys and everything very early in the year. Mm -hmm. And our children see these advertisements. And they sit up on and on and on. They start real early. They start early. Now they start waiting in June now. Advertising the things that you purchase. Amen? Even the cereal that we have, you notice that the person on the cereal box, eyes are looking down at the person that's looking up. <laughs> Amen? Even when you get ready to cash out at the cashier, they have little items at the cashier that catches your eye. You, you know what I'm saying? Your eyes is the window page of your heart. Amen. Amen. And so when it catches your eye, you, you notice when you kind of pick this up, throw it in the thing. You see that you picked it up and throw it in the thing. And before you know it, the items that you came in for have, have escalated more than what you really want to see. Amen. Amen. See, see I'm, I'm, I'm like this. When I'm going to the store, I'm going exactly what I'm going to get. <laughs> Amen. She said, pick up some sugar. And a loaf of bread. I'm picking up sugar and a loaf of bread. I'm going straight to the chapel. Amen. I'm coming on out of there. Hey, but not not the missus. All right. All right. We going in there for some sugar and a loaf of bread. We come out of there with a big basket full of stuff. Amen. Because our eyes are attracted to the thing. That's all. Amen, somebody. Amen. I mean, if you can afford it, it's all right. Amen. 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 Overcoming faith. Overcoming faith is centered on Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Because it's centered on Christ Jesus, 
Amen. He gives us the strength to be overcome, <laughs> overcomers, uh -huh. to be able to resist the power of temptation mm -hmm. in the world. Uh -huh. Resisting, amen, is, is res, res, when you're resisting something, amen, you're reframing from it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you can't resist in your own might, you have to resist in the Lord. Right. And if you're resisting in the Lord, amen, you can, He give you the strength to resist the temptation, amen, that is trying to tempt you, amen, of the temptation. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. I know you're big and strong. I know you can lift a hundred. <laughs> Amen. But none of us is no match for the end. <laughs> not in our own life. Because we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. Amen. We're wrestling against spiritual and wickedness in high places. And if we wrestle against spiritual things in high places, those things you don't see every day. Amen. Because they in dark places. Amen, somebody. Because we are born again, amen, and filled with the Holy Spirit, the enemy cannot possess us. Amen, somebody. He can't come in to the place where you already been endowed with the Holy Spirit. But he can influence you. And his influence is temptation that he has over you. And when you allow him to influence you, then you yield to the temptation. But God has given you overcoming faith to be able to resist the enemy. Now notice what he said. Now I want you to grab hold to verse 4. Amen. I'll, I'll be out of your hair. I want to look at it. It says, look at verse 4. Grab hold to verse 4. Whosoever born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. Amen? Amen. We are endowed with the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. inside of us. All right. Amen. Amen. That due to his power that's inside of us. Amen. Giving us overcoming faith. Amen. To have victory. Amen. In the storm. In the, in the thing that is coming against us. But overcoming faith that we have inside of us that have been gifted to us has to be exercised. If we never exercise our faith, amen, then we will, not, we will not be able to have the victory. When we see the very thing that's coming up against us, we got to be able to resist it in the Lord. And when we resist it in the Lord, the, end, the Bible says the enemy will flee from us. But if we start to entertain that thing, Amen. You are find that it would not only it would not only make us tempted, amen, and cause us to sin, but that thing will hang around us for a very long time. All right, all right. Amen. amen. The first time, the first time I done drugs, amen. I got a high that I never had before. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> Take a drink of water. <laughs> See, this is the first time I got high, I got high like I never did before. The second time I searched for that, that I got to the first time. You with me? But it wasn't there. I tried it again, searching for the high. That I got the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It never did come. Yeah. And the more money I spent, amen, the farther I got away from the first high that I got. Yeah. Amen. amen. That addicted me. I got addicted to the first high. Well, let's do drinking. Because I. Some of y'all say, ain't nothing got high. Let's do drinking. Took that first drink. I got a buzz. <laughs> well, it's different with alcohol and drugs because you, you can drink alcohol, you're going to get drunk. You, you search for that, you're going to get drunk. But you might get drunk and you're going to keep getting drunk. Amen, somebody. But, but it, is a, it is a feeling that you like. When you got drunk, 
and you kept doing it over and over. Amen. When you get drunk, you say some things. You, you think you're holy, you think you're religious, you say some things. Am I right about it, Joseph? You say some things. Amen, somebody. When you hide, amen, you think you're above everything. So you come down. This is where temptation is. This is where temptation is. Amen. If you if if I heard a woman say the other day, Amen. It wasn't just the other day, but I say the other day because I heard it some time ago. She said when she depressed, she goes shopping. Amen. Here's what the enemy does. Make her depressed. <laughs> so she can go shopping. Right. She spent money. But the more money she spent, the deeper in debt she became. Because she utilized all of her cards. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Instead of her dealing with the depression, she dealt with it by shopping. All right. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and instead of just sharing it with somebody that was causing her to be depressed, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't focus in on what was causing her to be depressed. Yeah. Right. Right. She didn't know I'm depressed. And, and, actually, and actually in our conversation, in a conversation, she was looking forward to being depressed because they had some sales going on. Amen. At the bar. Adam, he said, Adam, 
Right? Here's the sin. Sin make you guilty. Sin make you ashamed. It does make you ashamed. Because he wouldn't hear himself. Why? Because he was a familiar now. His eyes were open to see. The innocent was not gone away. He hid himself. He said, Adam, where are thou? Adam, where are thou? Uh -huh. And Adam called out to the Lord, here I am. And then, then this is what the Lord asked him. He said, we hid ourselves because we were naked. Talking to the very creator that created them. He knew they was naked when he created them. We hid ourselves because we was naked. Who told you that you were naked? It was the innocent. It was the innocent that it was gone away. Right? Sin, they entered into their heart. They was aware of the sin that's in the world. Who told you that you were naked? Did, look at what he said. They began to they began to deflect all the things. Well, that woman that you gave me, <laughs> we've been doing that now. We still do that, deflecting that woman that you gave me that I did it. Right? The woman deflects. He said that the same who beguiled me. Right? And then he punished. He punished each one of them. Cast them out of the cast them out of paradise. Yeah. Of the garden of Eden. Yeah, right? Temptation will take you farther than you want to go. Right. Yeah. And when sin begins to engulf your heart, the only way you can get rid of the sin is to repent of your sin yeah. and give it to God. Yeah. But you have been blessed today with over power of overcoming faith. Yeah. You have the power to overcome. Amen? Amen. The Bible tells a story about a woman who was hemorrhaging for 12 long years. You guys know the story. Look what she did. She heard that Jesus was passing by. Amen? She said to herself, if I can but touch the hem of Jesus' garment, listen to her confession, she said, I can be made whole. She began to exercise the overcoming faith. She said to herself, if I but touch the hem of his garment, I can be made whole. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. She's not saying, she's not saying that anything anybody else can make a whole. She said, I can be made whole, but I got to reach out and touch by faith the hem of his garment. That's right. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Look, look, when she touched the hem of his garment, the Bible said the, the virtue came out, ran out of him. This was very unique. Amen. The, the enemy, the, the, the disciple was saying, Lord, they was confused. They said, Lord, why are you asking us who touched you? Yeah. Of all the people that are all around you, you asking us who touched you? Right? Because that touch that she touched Jesus with was a touch of faith. Uh -huh. right. And the touch of faith, amen, when you touch the heart of God, amen, the virtue will run out of him. Yeah. The virgin ran out of Jesus. Amen. And when she saw that she could not hide anymore, she fell down at Jesus' feet. Mm -hmm. Jesus called her daughter. Mm -hmm. Let her know now that you belong. Mm -hmm. Look, can you understand? Understand, if you really notice the text, amen, hemorrhaging for 12 long years, meaning she couldn't go to church. She couldn't go to the temple. She was ostracized, amen. She couldn't go to gatherings. She had to separate herself from people because she was amen. unclean. Yeah. Amen. amen, somebody. Amen. But notice in her heart, she knew that she was unclean, but when she heard something, faith come by hearing. Come on. She heard something, faith come by hearing, and that's hearing every word of God. When she heard that Jesus was coming to town, she said to herself, I got to get up. I can't stay here. I'm going to press my way and touch the hill of the God. And when she touched him, her, she was made whole. Yes, sir. That's the power of overcoming faith. You got to press your way sometimes. Even though you're in the middle of the storm, you still got to press your way. Amen, somebody. You might be sick on your bed, laying on your bed, amen, sick, can't raise your head, amen, but you got to have some faith. You got to force yourself to sit up. You gotta force yourself to drink some water. 
You got to force yourself to get up and go to the bathroom. Don't you understand? When you move, when you pray like this, the brain that try to keep you down, you got to force yourself to get up. People lay there on their beds and lay there and just lay there until they pass on away. But you got to get up. Amen, somebody. Mama used to do this for us. Mama used to do this. You come in there sick, mama going to the cabinet and she getting that casserole. <laughs> when I see her going to get that casserole, I'm leaving. Because <laughs> this is what she do. If one get it, everybody's getting it. And then when she got slick with it, she started putting sugar on it. That just made it worse. Amen, somebody. My auntie said, what did casserole ever do for us but make us go to the bathroom? But it ran everything that was in your chest out of it. Amen. And we don't even give those to our children anymore. Amen. You know, they make the casserole. You, you can get some casserole. You can buy it right off the shelf. Let me know when you get sick. I bring you some casserole. Amen, somebody. Amen. John asked the question this. John asked the question in verse 5, which is a rhetorical question. He asked, who is he that overcomes the world? But he that believed that Jesus is the Son of God. It's, it's kind of rhetorical. Mm -hmm. Right? It, it's rhetorical. They say, who is he that overcomes the world? It, it kind of gets south right there. You're in the class, he asks a question, and it gets south. But he answers the question, Amen. right? He answers the question that he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. Right? You, you all overcome us. Why? Because I believe in the Son of God. Right. What's his name? Jesus. That's his name. Yeah. Amen. He has the power. Yeah. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Yes, Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. It's power in Jesus' name. Yes, Amen. Amen. The word of God gives us this assurance today yes, that we have overcoming faith. All right. yeah. Daniel, who was executed, amen, he was executed because, amen, he didn't follow the decree. Told 30 days, 30 days, nobody should pray. They need God, but pray, mm -hmm. amen, to the king. Amen. He kneeled down and went and prayed like he never prayed before. Amen. The Bible said he done it three days, three times a day. In the window. So they can see him. Yeah. Amen. They told him he couldn't pray, but he went to his mother and prayed three times. How many of us will do that? Yeah. Amen, yeah. somebody. Amen. Knowing that you're going to be thrown in a den of lions. Mm -hmm. Amen. They throw him in a den of lions. Amen. He didn't pat it. He laid down and went to sleep. And God sealed the lion's mouth. Because he trusted and believed in God. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. They say he couldn't pray. He prayed anyway. All right. Amen, somebody. Amen. The Hebrew boys. Amen. They walked in the power of overcoming faith. When they was told to bow down to the golden image, they refused and said, we're not careful to answer you, O King. If it be our God, we who we serve, he's able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace. Notice what it said. His, listen, listen now. Listen to me. Here's where the faith comes in. He said, but if not, okay. Come on with If he don't deliver us, okay. <laughs> amen. We still won't serve or bow down to the golden image. In other words, he said, if, the, if God don't deliver us out of the furnace, furnace, he still want to be God. Amen. Oh, you got to capture this thing. Because your faith is what pleases God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If you never hit the lottery, he's still God. Yeah. 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 If you never get the finest thing that you want, he's still God. Yeah. If he never heal your body, he's still God. Yeah. He has the power to heal. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He has the power to deliver you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. But then finally, let me hit this before I go. Amen. Because we're sharing this week is the week. Amen. A palm week. This is a spiritual week. Amen. Do you realize the week that Jesus came riding in on the horse, on the donkey? They cried, Hosanna. Hosanna. That's all. Amen. The king who comes in the name 
of the Lord. Amen. Amen. They were throwing palm leaves. Uh -huh. Amen. Out of the road as he traveled down the road. Amen. Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. They were all celebrating. Amen. And this is what this is what the religious leaders said. Oh, the whole world went after you. Amen. The whole world, they were jealous. Amen. amen. They were jealous because the whole world, amen, was celebrating Jesus' entry into the, into the city. Uh -huh. So you see, those folks knew scripture. Because scripture says he come riding in uh -huh. on a donkey. Uh -huh. Amen. And they began to cry, Hosanna, Hosanna. But we got to be careful. The same one that praise you, yes, sir. the same one that bless you, yes, the same one that be cursing you. Yes, sir. the end of the week, yes, sir. amen, the same one that were crying, Hosanna, Hosanna. They was crying, crucify him. <laughs> crucify yes, him. Amen. Amen. Yes, they took him out on the hill called Golgotha. Amen. And they nailed spikes in his hands and spikes in his feet. They hoisted him up and put him down in a hole. And they began to mock him. Kevin said they mocked him. Told him if you if you save others, why can you save yourself? They're looking for him to do something. Yes, sir. Amen. He could have came down on the cross. He could have came down, but it was the nail that was holding him. It was the love that he had for all of us. Aren't you glad he didn't come down? Amen. I'm glad he didn't come down. Yes, they whipped him all night long. Yes, he said, not a moment. Yes, Marched him down the Jerusalem road. Yes, Amen. And took him on a hill called Calvary. Nailed him to the cross. Yes, Amen. Hossed him down and put him in. Oh, but they whipped him all night long. Yes, Amen. And when that wasn't satisfied, they pierced him in the side. Right. Amen. They broke everybody else's leg. But him, they yes, pierced in the side. Because he decreed no bones of his body would be broken. Yes, Can I get a witness? Amen. Everything that he done, he done it according to scripture. Amen. Everything that Jesus done, he came to fulfill scripture. Amen. Amen. And that same scripture is being fulfilled today. Amen. Those of us that believe in Jesus Christ yes, shall have eternal life. Amen. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what's going to come your way. You got to trust and believe that he can do all things. All things. But faith. Yeah. Sometimes the enemy will come and the storm will blow against your life. Yeah. Amen. It caused your whole body to rock and reel. Yeah. But you got to hold on to the ship. Yeah. Don't, don't abandon the ship. Because the time that you abandon the ship is the time that salvation is coming to you. The end was the time that the enemy will come to you. Yeah. I don't care where you at or what you've been through. Keep your trust and faith in God. And watch God work it out for you. We just stand in the building. Yes. 